Focus on what's really going to make you pass. And that certainly includes the subject that follows that, which is current issues and corporate social responsibility. Now, this one is a bit of a devil because it's 25 marks. That's right. Question four in the uh, examination is, um, is corporate social responsibility. It's the, uh, the non-technical narrative question talking about the philosophy of financial reporting, uh, the larger subject of corporate governance, and the current issues uh, within uh, the development of financial reporting standards, and so forth. Um, it seems like there's almost no substance to this whatsoever. But I would argue that there are some things that I can explain to you. The way that I propose that I'm going to uh, communicate this to you through the tube is... Um, well, first of all, I'm going to talk through some, some, um, some backbone that I can give to you as regards corporate social responsibility. And then I'm going to talk you through uh, two past examination questions. So that's the plan. Let's see how it works out. So corporate social responsibility. Really all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the headings within the notes in order to, to prompt me. And uh, I'm, I'm going to talk through the subjects as given here, starting with the framework for financial reporting. Now, the framework for financial reporting is the framework for financial reporting. It's the framework for financial reporting. It's the thing that the International Accounting Standards Board uh, reference the development of their financial standards too. So there's the framework for financial reporting. They have a problem with accounting, say deferred tax, and in order to solve this problem over here, they reference the problem against the framework to come up with the solution. So what is the cornerstone of the framework for financial reporting? The cornerstone, the keystone, the absolute key to the framework for financial reporting is the definition of the asset stroke liability. An asset is a right to a source of future economic inflow and an obligation, I do apologise, a liability is an obligation to a future economic outflow, essentially. And that's really it. Uh, the whole of financial reporting is based on that uh, double-headed definition. And um, yes, there are other concepts in the framework. You're right. Concepts like uh, prudence and consistency and uh, going concern and relevance and reliability, they're all in there. But um, the, uh, the, 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 the keystone, the cornerstone to financial reporting is the definition of the asset stroke liability. But the Americans, ah, the Americans have had a... Uh, history, a cultural history of um, worshipping the law, quite frankly, and as a consequence of which their financial reporting system has uh, previously been based on uh, what is described as a prescriptive system, which means that um, it's written in the way that laws are written and often very detailed. But the problem with these detailed prescriptive laws, as the Americans found out when they got kicked in through Enron, uh, was that um, prescriptive rules are easy to bend. I mean, that's what creative accounting is. If you take, for example, a concept like that of control, if you have control, you have control. And it doesn't matter how you have control. Whether you have control this way or you have control that way, you have control and your sub is a sub. So you can lie about the word control and you can manipulate the word control, but it's not as easy as to manipulate a list of rules that say that you're a sub. So if you have a list of rules that say you're a sub, say if number one happens you're a sub, number two happens you're a sub, number three happens you're a sub, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, any of those happen you're a sub, well all the creative accountant does is just choose number fourteen. Chooses number fourteen, makes a sub really a sub, keeps control, but accounts for it not as a sub because it's not on the list. So prescriptive accounting is easy to manipulate. So what? Well, let's face it, the Americans are the big economic power. There's no denying it, they are the big economic power. And what David Tweedy, top dog at the Accounting Standards Board, International Accounting Standards Board, argue is if he can get the Americans on board, well, everyone else will follow. 
So the Americans are keen to adopt the International Accounting Standards Board framework for financial reporting, but for political reasons, basically to make it nice for the uh, Americans to join our bandwagon, what, what David Tweedy has decided to do is to basically rip up the framework for financial reporting and rewrite it again. So it's being rewritten again. Essentially, really, to be honest with you, we're just copying the old International Accounting Standards Board framework. We're basically bringing back the old framework, but we're pretending what we're doing is we're ripping it up and starting again in order to draw the Americans into this process of development. So the Americans, they're keen to look at our conceptual framework. They like our conceptual framework. They're keen to move away from their prescriptive framework, but to draw them in and make it easier for them to join in with us, we are ripping up our old framework and rewriting it again. So what is the keystone of the existing framework for financial reporting? That is the definition of the asset stroke liability. And what will be the future keystone for international financial reporting, what will be the future keystone for the framework? The same thing, the asset stroke liability. Basically, the framework in the future is going to be exactly the same as the one that we have now. So there you go, there's an intro to the framework. I suggest the two key things that you need to know about the framework, maybe three. The two key things that come immediately to mind are, number one, that the keystone to the framework is the definition of the asset stroke liability. And number two is that uh, we are in the process of uh, reinventing the, the framework. And number three, the reason for that is so that we can draw in the Americans. <laughs>